Hi, my name is Ray of St. Clair Lure and FishSwappers.com. Um, this is going to be our first video on lure painting. Um, hopefully you were able to see the previous videos on the lure making, part one and two. Um, this one will be on painting now. Um, hopefully we can get it in one part, but if we have to, we'll do it in two. Um, we're also going to do another video later of some more advanced techniques, um, but today we're going to focus on just like doing one simple lure. Um, one of my favorite, favorite patterns that I have um, this is my, my gator chaser pattern, and then we'll show you this up close here in a second. Um, but this is the one we're going to concentrate on today, and that'll hopefully help get you started into lure painting. And uh, like I said, watch for another video coming soon of some more advanced techniques on some of the other lures. So let's get moving on this. As you can see, there's an endless amount of patterns and uh, things that you can play around with and as far as baits go. Um, here's a few of the other ones. As you can see, we've got four here that are all primed and uh, ready for paint. Uh, obviously, you're, you're going to need paint. Um, I, use, I like using the Createx paints. Um, I have two different airbrushes here. A, a two-stage airbrush is a, a great airbrush. Um, if you're hesitant on that, you can always start with a single stage. Basically, you push the button and it paints. Two-stage, you can kind of control how much paint. Um, but if you can start with a two-stage airbrush and learn that one first, that'd be great. Um, so anyway, this is the pattern that we're going to be doing today. This is the Gator Jake pattern, or Gator Chaser pattern, I'm sorry. Uh, one of my favorite ones. So I have four straight baits sitting here that are all primed and ready for paint. So with that, uh, let me reset the camera so that you can watch as we paint them and I'll try and explain what we're doing as we're going along here. Alright, to get started painting this bait. As you can see, it's got a yellow bottom with a little bit of pink. The rest is the basically like a an olive green with some black scaling, some black shadowing around the eye, and a little bit of black shadowing down the top of the lure as well. Um, I generally like to start with some of the lighter colors if I can, and in, in this case on this lure, what I'm going to do is we're going to start by painting the belly of it yellow. We'll have the yellow already in our bottle, and then when we get ready to do the green, all we need to do is add a little bit of uh, just the opaque green to the yellow and we'll be able to get our olive color. I always like to put my lures in a basically just a spring clamp. Kind of keeps a lot of the paint off my fingers. So um, I always also, like right before I get ready to spray, I'll just kind of do a little test spray, make sure that we got our paint thinned out just right. And she looks like she's spraying really good for me. With that, I'm ready to get going on it. Uh, we're gonna put just a little light yellow just along the uh, just along the bottom of the lure here. And with that, we've got our our yellow done. The yellow. What I like to do is after I get done spraying each color, I have a heat gun. And I like to use a heat gun to basically set the paint. Um, you'll you just keep it a little bit away from here. You don't want to burn the paint and make it start to bubble. But that'll help set the paint. And, I mean, it'll dry within just seconds. You hit it with the heat gun real quick and it allows you to go right to your next color. Okay, so we finished our yellow on the bottom and the sides. Let's take a look at the master again. We have the yellow. Now we're going to do that green color and then after that we'll put the scaling on which is actually a lot of fun too. Um, basically I had the yellow inside my container. I've mixed it with a little bit of green and, and a touch of black to give me that olive green color that I'm looking for. And now we will spray the green on. along the bottom and just let a little bit of that yellow expose. That's all it takes, it's dry. 